All right, so this will be organized from the least likely to stay dedicated to the most likely. Yeah, so starting off with number one, we have the New Year's Resolutioner. Now this might be some of you guys, but I really want to see you guys move up the ranks because the New Year's Resolutioner is the type of person who sets a goal for themselves and that goal is so far out and so unspecified that they never actually really achieve it. Because a lot of times they'll say something like, oh, I want to lose weight, that's not specific enough. Oh, I want to get in shape, that's not specific enough. You got to have specific goals. Now on to number two. This is the type of person who's generally severely overweight. And I'm not fat shaming them. It just happens to be that these types of people often have very bad self-image issues. They end up losing their confidence to go to the gym and end up quitting eventually. But if they can get that confidence to not care what other people think, these people can get very far because bigger people are naturally very strong because they've been lifting all that weight for so long. So now on to the next one. Number three, we have the twig man. And this is where I personally started myself. This is where you're extremely skinny and most likely near anorexic. And so at this point, it's nearly the same as the one before with self-image issues. These people do not like how they look and eventually they stop going due to the shame that is stopping them from going around there because they're usually the smallest person in the gym. And indirectly, comparison is what destroys the people in the end. Now on to number four. The Ego Lifter. This is the dude who lifts more than he really should. He does that one rep max every single time. And eventually that one rep max becomes a one way stop to the hospital. And I'm sure that's exactly what everyone wants. And once you're injured, you're not going to be in the gym, let's be honest, and you'll probably be scared. And this is why the Eagle Lifter is likely to not be back to the gym again. After injury, it's hard to get yourself back in there. So now we're getting to the point where you'll probably be uh, less likely to quit. Because at this point, you have your newbie gains. And this is where you get your first initial muscle. When you start going to the gym, your very, very beginning process is quickly accelerated in comparison to longer down the line. Because when you first start, your body just reacts in a way to make your muscle produce a lot quicker. And so you'll end up building very quick. And at this point, you'll start seeing results and results will reaffirm your belief and passion to go. And that's why these people are less likely to quit than the majority of the people in the past. And now we're getting to the crackhead territory. We have the supplement junkie. So at this point, you will have quite a few uh, supplements under your belt. There's a few that are relatively safe and smart to use, like creatine and protein powder. Those are the two main ones. You can use pre-workout. I don't think it's necessary personally, but the supplement junkie uses stuff like uh, beta alkalines, um, tertesterone, uh, I don't know, bro. There's so many of them. There I'll put a list of all these crazy wackadoodle stuff these people use. And these people, they're not gonna quit. They, they're financially invested. There's no chance of them quitting because they have so much money into this. It's now their life. And so now on to the next one. We have the Roid Rage. These people will not quit unless they get severely injured, like severely. And the reason I say they won't quit is because they're so into the gym that they're willing to endanger their health by taking dangerous drugs like steroids, SARMs, uh, growth hormones, and all this crazy stuff that makes them look like something of a different species. And while I do respect it to a certain extent, I don't believe it's worth doing because you'll in likely, you'll most likely die. Early, that is. And I just don't think it's worth cutting off your life early to look like some type of a uh, monster of a man, I guess. Hey, for the people who are in the like competitions, fair enough, fair enough. I don't blame them, but for your average person, this is not the route to be taking. And now we have the last and final one. We have the mountain. And while there is a specific bodybuilder named the mountain, I'm just generally referring to any of these people who are literally like Mr. Olympias. These people are giant. They are like the strongest men in the world. These people are so wildly involved in this and genetically gifted that they can't quit. It's their destiny. It's their purpose in life to be the strongest and most physically aesthetic person. It's just, it's their destiny. And that's why these people will not quit. And that's all for this list. And if you want another video to watch, feel free to click this one right here.